I'm going to be showing you how you can use your laptop DVD drive from your old laptop inside of this external DVD drive right here. This is an external DVD drive housing that will house this DVD disk drive from your old laptop. So what you need to do, you need to make sure that your laptop DVD drive that you have has a SATA port like this one. So make sure your external little DVD drive has a SATA port like this one. So now what you get with the box is you see that this is a DVD RW external DVD drive. And now what we're going to be doing is opening up the box like this one. Now what you get inside of your your box right here is this housing right here. You get the housing for the external DVD drive right here. This is an external housing for the DVD drive from your old laptop. So what you need to do is you need to open this up right here. Grab it out. And then inside of the external case right here, you're going to be getting this cover right here. You're going to be getting this cover for your laptop drive right here. You see? You see? You got this cover. And this cover is going to go onto this housing right here. It's going to go onto the lid for your DVD drive like this one. So now that you know what comes in the box like this one, what you're going to be needing to do is you're going to need to grab your old laptop like this one. Grab your old laptop. Now that you have gotten your old laptop like this one, what you need to do is you need to open up your laptop like this. So go to the back of your laptop like this. Go to the back of it. And then you want to take out all the screws that you see. You want to take out all the screws that you see. Mine has right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 screws. You want to take out the 10 screws that you have. Or depending on how many screws your laptop has, you want to take out all the screws to remove the housing from it. And now that you removed all the screws from your laptop, what you need to do is you need to open up your laptop like this. So head over to your laptop. And every laptop is going to be different right here. So just figure out how you can open up your laptop like this one. So now I'm going to be opening up the laptop. And then you want to take out this casing like this. And you have the casing. Take out the, the keyboard like this one. Take it out. And now that you have taken out the cover right here, you see. I have taken out the cover from my laptop for the keyboard and the trackpad. Right here, what you're going to be seeing is you're going to be seeing that you have the disk drive right here. This disk drive... You want to check it out right here. Take out your disk drive by taking out the screw that you see right here. There's always going to be a screw for your disk drive on your laptop so it doesn't get out when you are using it or you accidentally yank it when your DVD drive is running. So take out the screw that you see right here and then you're going to be able to use it with your external drive. So one thing that you need to worry about is when you're using your external drive right here from your laptop or you're using it. What you need to do is you're going to be seeing right here, right here you're going to be seeing that not not all laptops are going, not all laptop DVD drives are going to be the same right here because when you put the faceplate, the faceplate is going to be different right here. You see, the faceplate when may not fit with this faceplate that comes in your external DVD drive right here. So make sure the faceplate fits that your DVD drive you are using because not all DVD drives are the same for the faceplate. So let's take off the faceplate like this right here. Take it out like this. Now that you have taken out the faceplate for the DVD drive, what you need to do is you want to put the DVD drive faceplate that came with your external DVD drive enclosure. So take out this one and then what you need to do is put it in like this. And now that we have put the faceplate for the DVD drive, what we need to do now is we need to put it inside the enclosure right here. Make sure that the faceplate looks like this and that's how you want to insert it like this. No insert it backwards like this because it's not going to be fitting. And then inside of it, I don't know if you can see, but inside of it, you're going to be having a connector right here. You're going to be having a connector inside of your DVD drive like this one. You're going to be having a connector inside of it. So what you want to do now is grab your enclosure and you will grab your DVD drive right here. You grab your external DVD drive like this one from your old laptop. And you want to put it inside like this. Make sure that it is facing with the opening out like this. Make sure it's facing like this when you insert it. So insert it like this. And now what we need to do is we can head over to the computer to show you how this disk drive works like this. So let's head over to the computer to show you how this disk drive works like this. So let's head over to the computer so that I can show you how this disk drive works. Now what you want to do is you want to grab your DVD disk drive right here. The external DVD disk drive. What you want to do is grab it. And then at the bottom right here you're going to be seeing that you have this USB cable. That USB cable is that you can power or view your DVD drive on your laptop. So you want to grab the USB cable and then you want to insert the USB cable 
from your DVD disk drive inside of your computer's USB port. So you want to connect it to the USB port on your laptop like this or desktop computer or whatever computer you're using. Now, there might be some drivers that you might need to install automatically or some drivers might install automatically. But now what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how you can use this disk drive on your Windows computer right now. So now for the test of this video, we're going to be using this DVD right here. I don't know if this is a blink DVD or if it has data. So we're going to just see right now. So now what you need to do is you want to power on right here or open up your disk drive, open it up. And if it opens, that means that you have data correctly right here. You see, it opens. So let's open it up right here. And then we're going to be inserting a DVD like this. Let's insert the DVD. Now we're going to be inserting a DVD inside of the DVD disk drive. Then it should automatically start on your Windows computer. But if it doesn't start automatically, I'll show you what you need to do right here. Now it says right here DVD R and then the video should be playing right here. So now what we're going to be doing is let's play the video by clicking right here autoplay. And then it says where you want to play it. So I'm going to be doing playing it on VLC media player. Then you see the video is playing on my Windows computer from my external DVD player right here. You see the video is playing right here on my external DVD player for my laptop right here. You see the video is playing on my external DVD drive on my laptop. So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking out this DVD disk drive as it's running to show you that it works right here and then that it's not going to be playing on my computer right here. You see, so I'm going to be removing it. And then you see it's not playing anymore on my Windows computer. Now what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing the other way in case your DVD drive does not start up automatically or your DVD does not start automatically. You see, now what we need to do is you need to exit out of VOC Media Player and then you're going to be seeing VOC Media Player opens up automatically but if it doesn't start automatically, what you need to do is head over to your Files Manager. On your computer, head over to Files. Then what you need to do is you want to click right here where it says this PC, click on where it says this PC, then scroll down to where it says DVD RW, right click on it, and then you want to click on where it says play with, and then it's going to be playing with VOC media player or whatever, be, or whatever media player you have is going to be opening it right here. So click right here to play with VOC media player or whatever DVD player you have on your Windows computer to play videos. And now, you, now what I'm going to be doing again is I'm going to be showing you that the DVD is not going to be running when I open up this DVD drive right here. So let me open it up. And then you see your DVD player is no longer running on your computer or your DVD is no longer running on your DVD for your laptop. You see this DVD is no longer running on your laptop. Please like, comment, and follow me, and subscribe for more how-to videos like these ones on how you can use an old laptop DVD drive inside of this DVD drive enclosure for your laptop that does not have a DVD drive. So please like, comment, and follow me, and subscribe for more videos like these ones.